MustangMedic.com Mustang Medic, Ford Mustang Search and Rescue. In high definition. The 1964.5 Mustang Convertible 260 Small Block Engine Project. Day 13, bringing her back to life. Alright, I know you guys think she's she's got me wrapped around her finger and it's not quite true, right? Give him, give him the cute eyes, give him the cute eyes. Look at that. How can you say no? Alright, so here we are with the 64 and a half. And now today is a fine tuning with hand sandpaper and basically going into every little nook and cranny. So I'm going to give you a little quick heads up on that. And I'm hoping to primer before uh, it gets dark. We'll see. Maybe it's going to be tomorrow. But I want to make sure that this is going to adhere and we got a nice clean surface before we start to do the paint and get this all cleaned up. She's looking good. Right, Rachel? You're shaking your head? Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Say bye. Bye. Apples are healthy. Mr. McDuck oh my, my new future marketing manager. All right, so basically it's sanding like this with a sandpaper. You're getting into every little nook and cranny that you can get into to make sure it's nice and smooth before the paint. So been doing that on this side and going across the top. I'm not taking the fenders off of this, so I'm going to have to mask it off. And now I'm going to just keep going all the way around. This area is pretty much done, and we are really, really close to primer. I'm going to black primer, uh, or I'm going to black primer, then I'm going to paint bumper black all the way around this, uh, the uh, power brakes. And um, we are, then I'm going to probably go with a silver uh, metallic, similar to what I did on the 71 for this unit right here. So back into more detail work on the car, and this is going to probably be a one more day adventure to get her complete. Uh, this is the cross support, and I got that pretty much sanded all the way around. I'm going to hit that all the way around it, and it's the steering linkage. I can't help myself, it's not really part of the job, but I'm seeing it here looking like this. I gotta clean this area, so I'm gonna hit this with some paint too, just to clean it up. Mm -hmm. So everything looks good when William comes back and drives her away. Yeah. What do you think, Rachel? Good? Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. She's ready to get some primer neutralized on her. Every little bit has been pretty much sanded, and we're gonna go through and neutralize. This is just dust. I'm going to blow her out with air. It's again just all dust. And blow her out with air and start to hit her with some quick primer spots just to seal her up tonight. And we're going to be working on final paint tomorrow for on the uh, 64 and a half. Wait do you see when she's done. Alright, so just blowing off the dust. Getting ready for paint. Exciting time. Here's, uh, I decided to show you guys a little bit of the spray that's going on. Again, this is rust, rust encapsulator. So any uh, residue rust gets neutralized and gets rid of it. So I'm hitting any spots that might have some, some uh, spots that didn't come completely clean. Then we're gonna go bumper black, baby. All right, so here's the engine compartment, and you know, uh, the engine compartment, here's the engine compartment, and there's that battery area. Let's show you what it looked like before we started working on it. I love before it's and after shots, like guys, because right you guys. truly appreciate the work that gets done. So here it is. And this is what it looks like now, huh? How about that? And we've got primer. This is all rust encapsulator on all the areas, so that's all hit. So we're going to do a little bit more fine-tuning, and then we're going to start... Uh, with the bumper black and masking everything off and totally cleaning up the inside of the edge compartment. So, looking good! Good progress on the 64 and a half today. Thanks for watching, guys. 
Just had a phone conversation with William. William, this is the detail that I'm talking about, <clears throat> about our email today. This whole area right here would get painted and worked on. And this whole back area behind the grill would get painted. It's outside the engine compartment. And this grill right here would be removed and painted also a flat black, which would be a nice crisp flat black behind your chrome which is a little dirty right now, but that's about it. So it's this piece would get painted, this grill. All of this would be dismantled and painted separately as separate pieces. And then inside this area here would also get painted in there. Arnie started doing all the primer on the inside, so she's looking all beautiful on the inside. It's starting to come together quite nicely. And it's just kind of, it's a lot of work. Normally I, I pick up some certain things like I'm going to paint that, you know, as, as a, just to make her beautiful, which is outside the scope of the project. But this is somewhat of a commitment because the amount of pieces that have to be taken off and painted separately. So if you want this to be done, um, that's the details on the estimate I emailed you. Let me know, sir. Thank you. But she's looking good inside, getting closer. This just in from the Warden 09. I really wish I lived out in Cali. I have a 91 GT that I recently decided to restore instead of sell. and would love to have it done by some professional Mustang guys. But sadly, I live in Indiana. Well, I just want you to know that it cost about, on average, around $700 to ship it out. And the savings of just sending out $700, you'd be able to see the project being done. There's a number of people that are planning on doing that with us. And the great thing about the video series is you know what you are getting. So give us a call. Don't feel limited. Look for a link in the description for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com Alright team, let's go! We're gonna find the next Mustang! Yeah! MustangMedic.com